What you doing, you skeezer? Huh? What are you doing over here, dog? your boy Biden is getting us for today. You guys just leave the tip in guys. You guys just leave the tip in just to get those little drops out of there so they don't leak on your car. Quick Biden, quick hunter today ain't too bad. How much is gas for you guys are at? Guys, if you guys are in Vegas, you guys already know all hoes baby is a place to come for those fittings. later that same evening what is up everybody welcome back to the channel that's right we went on that little trip had to hit the store up man we had to get gas for one because we were on e and two two i should say we had to hit all holes because we needed some goodies for this build now that's the spot if you guys are in vegas that is definitely the spot to go that's my favorite place to go for all my hose and accessories fitting stuff like that but power steering we got to plumb this bad boy because I noticed we're getting carried away with the electrical and we haven't even finished this. Now, mind you, now your setup might not be like this. This is a remote reservoir. If you have a remote reservoir, then this is definitely the video for you. If you do not, all you're really going to do is not use one extra hose. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. I might even show you on my Chevelle. My Chevelle has just got the reservoir built in to the pump. If that's the case, you guys don't need uh, an extra hose. We have three really lines here because of the remote reservoir. So we went and picked this guy up here because this guy, that's a dash 10 boys. Oh Lord. So they require a dash 10. This particular power steering pump requires a dash 10 from the reservoir. It's so crazy. I don't understand why, but I guess more fluid, right? So we went ahead and we had to get that dash 10 adapter. And I'll show you guys here in a little bit where that guy's going to live at for that dash 10 line. And then, we had to come and get this one here as well. This is our pressure line. Pressure line, guys, I always recommend doing a, basically a power steering pressure line, like a crimp style, just like this guy right here. So we went and made that up. Now, the tricky thing is when you start setting up and plumbing your power steering, you really have to have like a few fittings lying around and they don't have to be the exact ones, but you can kind of tape them together, put a line in between them and kind of get an idea of what you need. So that way, when you go to the store, you say, hey, I need something like this. I need it to go this way. I need to come back this way and all that. So that way they have an idea of what to make. So we took a line earlier with that just basically mimic this guy here. So that's going to be the biggest one because these ones usually don't rotate these pressure lines as far as these fittings, these crimp ons, crimp style. So you're always going to need something to mock that up. This one I had here in at the house, we actually threw some fittings that we had um, and we just really made it because this side is, is okay with the AN stuff because this is not on the pressure side. This is on the return side. So no pressure is going to be on this line. So we made that one here. And then these fittings are going to be very important as well. You're going to need those for the actual rack. Now, mind you, every rack is a little bit different. This is the Borgeson. Remember that Borgeson um, rack and pinion or rack power steering rack, whatever you want to call it, box. Um, they require a little flare adapter that's going to go in here and that'll live inside before you screw these on. Um, obviously, like I said, one, two, three, that's all. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up a little bit. We're probably going to put a little loom on here just to kind of clean up these uh, fittings because they're just kind of bulky and stuff like that. Not to mention, we got to add that goose performance touch you know but let's go ahead and get to work and then see if we can get this thing put on today
looking good you guys looking good this thing is all finished up i'm really happy with it i dig it i really like it and it, it looks good it's a good place to service it's a good place i mean just for it in general i think it looks good that bracket came out killer if you guys need an actual bracket let me know i can get you guys one made up for you guys i will try to put them down in the website hopefully you guys if you guys can hit up the website get some goose merch hit up gooseperformance.com but i will try to get that bracket on the website if you guys are interested for that head i mean that's a multi-purpose bracket if you think about it it can be used for damn near anything all it does is bolt to the head very sleek you can see and plenty of clearance as well for the alternator so if you guys got an alternator that sits nice and tight no issues there but um down here got the line got the actual pressure line i did end up using that um that loom on it i just didn't like how it was looking it didn't it didn't look right to me so i just took it off it still looks good um shouldn't have any issues obviously you're gonna have your return and then your pressure line make sure you guys identify those correctly but everything else is looking good like i said once again when you guys go to plumb your power steering you're gonna want to have some some like even old fitting something lying around just to kind of give you an idea on how to route everything and how to go about placing everything else that involves that reservoir if you guys have the this type of uh remote location style um let me show you guys as a matter of fact the one i have on my cheval which is not like this it might be more like yours what you doing you skeezer huh what are you doing over here dog what you doing big dog big dog big dog get up out of here dude jesus all right y'all let's see let's see if we can see it so i got the holly mid mount kit accessory drive on here and once again my power steering has the reservoir built into it so on the back side this one only has two lines right and they're both dash really dash six is really i wish i wish they were like that on the other car but they're not every accessory drive is a little bit different but this guy here we got the pressure line coming off of here off the back side and then straight down to the box and on the bottom side you got that plastic little nipple coming off of here and then right back down to the return you guys can see i'm a big fan of that little u that little u i guess you can call it a 180 a 180 degree an fitting just because it kind of brings it everything back down you can come back around how you need to and no issues no restrictions with the fluid so i dig it i think it works just fine uh, but yeah that's the one on this guy if you guys have a similar setup like this setup that's probably what you're going to end up doing or something similar to that but like i said be cautious and make sure you got something to mock that up with but you guys i think that's going to do it for this video i just wanted to show you guys go over real quick on the power steering plumbing because it is something we have to do people don't realize when you do these swaps is that you have to replumb the entire car like everything everything that you used to have is not really going to work by by nothing nothing when it comes to a swap it's just everything's brand new you got to redo everything on plumbing electrical ac all of it so keep that in mind but do me a favor man smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and you guys already know stay wrenching